welcome back to life with Saisha and today I'm not really doing a review but I'm doing more so of a um, sneaker talk and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because this is a shoe that I'm pretty sure everyone knows everyone has seen and it's just a basic model so there's no reason to review it because this shoe, I can't even remember when this shoe first released, but it's not new by any means. And I'm talking about none other than the Nike Air Force One Low. And today I'll be talking about the all white colorway, or as a lot of people refer to as the icy whites or the cocaine whites or just white on white. So yeah. And um, yeah, so a lot of people do refer to these as maybe like the uptowns, which is kind of like a northern term, you know, up north here in the south we mostly just say air force ones or forces for short um and i'm pretty sure there are other names for it but those are the two that come to mind right now this is the box right here and it's just it's the nike air force one box um, i have had several different types of nike air force one boxes um i've had high top air force ones and of course i've had low tops low tops are more so my jam like i buy lows more but um i do want to get more into the highs i've seen a couple that i do want to purchase so stay tuned for that i don't know if i'm going to grab any before the year ends but maybe we just shall see um i purchased this pair from like or finish line and um they retail i think for like a hundred and maybe men no i think they retail for a hundred and women i'm not sure the men's price but maybe the same and in grade school these were eighty dollars so yeah and i did get them in a six year but, um this the box just says established in 1982 so yeah that's when they were established i wasn't born then so it was like 10 11 years before i was born actually and yeah so the pair that i have is right here and it's just all white Silhouette, it's just a classic pair of shoes, nothing, you know, too special about that. Just showing these really for reference and um, just making sure, like, I have nothing on my hands because I haven't worn these yet. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't want to get anything on them because it's very well known that once you get dirt or anything on your Air Force Ones, it's just basically just to toss them and just grab a new pair. So, um, yeah, I got these and I was like, you know what, since I'm doing this Sneaker Friday series and I don't want to like miss any Fridays, knock on wood, I hopefully I don't. And I was like, you know, I have a couple pairs left that I do want to review, but I want to hold off on those and just talk with you all, get a little powwow going on with you all. So, yeah, I want to just delve into like talking about the Air Force One silhouette as a whole. So, me personally, I feel like it's a shoe that, a shoe model that every sneaker collector, sneaker enthusiast, sneaker head, whatever you want to call yourself, I feel like it's a shoe that everyone should have in their collection. Whether or not it's the all whites, which I feel like this is just a classic colorway that you have to have um, in highs and lows. If you're a mid type person, you know, do you. I am personally am not an Air Force One mid person. I've never owned a pair. But if you are, go by any means get those so um yeah I, I do think it's a staple in any collection um i own a couple air force ones over the years i probably would say like from when i first got into shoes air force ones were like a favorite shoe of mine at one point it was all about like nike shoes so i was into like the nike dunks and nike sbs the um air force ones like things of the nature i really probably had mostly every nike model that was releasing in the early 2000s to now so um yeah i even had, even had like the ace 83s if anybody remember those um <laughs> yeah i don't probably i probably won't buy those now i don't know um the nike vandals i had a pair of those like it's a lot of nike models that i had and a lot that i feel like nike should retro or bring back um, out Let's see, what else do I want to say about the Air Force One? Oh, also, yeah, um, I do think that this was, like, one of the shoes that I felt, like, really got me, like, heavy into, like, the sneaker community. Because, um, I don't know about anyone else, but there used to be websites. I used to go on pickershoes.com, sneaker... Um, I want to actually say it was a website called Sneaker Talk. Um, there was sneakerhead.com. There was, of course, um, 23 is back. Jump in 23, 23 is back um yeah nike talk not sneaker talk nike talk was i used to have like this like 
chat blog section if you get what i'm saying i think that's what it was called but you would kind of like get to know people in the sneaky community and talk to people so i was getting like cool with people um at that point it was mostly there were women in it, it was mostly women that were liking like the dmv and dc um new york area chicago area it wasn't too many people that i knew personally like on there from like southern regions or whatever i didn't really start seeing women and sneakers and stuff until i got like into college midway into college not even when i first got there like my freshman year so maybe like sophomore junior year so yeah so it was just always kind of fun the only people i knew women that i knew were vashti um tiana taylor those are the only two women that i really knew about in the sneaker community but um with, as far as Air Force Ones go, I used to get the premium. I don't know if you all remember when I did the premium Air Force Ones and the Supreme Air Force Ones. And then I used to have like this little tag that was on them. So with the premium, they used to have like, it was like a hang tag. There was a silver metal like hang tag on them. And um, you would get those on like, um, they, they were um, called quick strike releases. So they were like hard to get. And I mean, those quick strike releases still go on now, but we don't really call it that anymore. We just call them like hype releases. But um, yeah, we had those, the Supreme Forces, they were higher. So if the regular forces were $80 retail, or it, back then it probably was like $65 or $70, maybe $75. And the premium will start at like 100 and the Supreme will start at like probably 120 or 135 or something like that. Don't quote me on those prices. So, yeah, it was like as you got up into like the hierarchy. Um, and then I think they used to also have something called tier Air Force Ones, if I'm not mistaken, tier ones, I think. But, um, yeah, so it was just Air Force Ones. I feel like it just has a deep rooted um as far as the beginning of like the sneaker culture, I just feel like it's like that shoe. Like a lot of people all are all about the Jordans and things of that nature, but I feel like the Air Force One is just synonymous amongst everybody. Like I feel like even if you're not into sneakers, you definitely owned a pair of Air Force Ones. And then of course I have to, you know, talk about the first moment I feel like where Air Force Ones really thrive was the Nelly Air Force Ones video and um, I always loved the video I wanted like to go into um, like a shoe spot and get two pair of Air Force Ones so I could have so I could get two pairs you know it's the reference of the song and um, yeah I just all the different colors they had in the video the colorways i was just like amazed like as far as being i was much more younger then so like i wasn't really grasping that this was like a huge moment for not only hip-hop but the sneaker community community and also the sneaker culture even though i don't think we were saying like culture at that moment but it's like the video that was for the culture um as far as sneakers go and yeah it was like a pivotal moment that I felt like everybody was like, wow, like, Air Force Ones are here to stay. And of course, I feel like, just depending on the type, the area that you live in, the Air Force Ones kind of did have their highs and lows with every shoe. Um, there was a period of time where people weren't really buying Air Force Ones. There was a wave of, like, of course, all the Jordans. There was a wave of, like, the Nike basketball shoes, a wave of the um nike foam posits does everyone remember the years of the foams like that was a crazy hype type of thing then of course there came the yeezys like it's always like periods or, or i will shall say decades of hit through history where there was a shoe that just really took off of course there was, was an off-white year there was a um collab year where everything was all about the collabs like you know just today i wanted to highlight and put the spotlight on the air force one because one, I just recently purchased this shoe. And two, like I said before, I didn't want every Sneaker Friday video to be geared towards necessarily a sneaker review. I did want to like just talk about, you know, some regular stuff that everyone can relate to, even if you are not like a hardcore sneakerhead or you're really not that in depth into copying sneakers and things like that. Like I think everyone can relate to like, oh yeah, I had a pair of Air Force Ones like in 2003. Like I think, you know, everybody. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of it. Um, I just wanted to talk about it, get the conversation started and going. So let me know down below, what are your thoughts on Air Force Ones? Do you own a pair of all white Air Force Ones or just Air Force Ones in general? Um, 
are you planning on copying a pair of forces like are there any ones that you are thinking about grabbing and also do you like the air force one like maybe you don't like it if you don't like it let me know why like do you not like the shoe do you not like the model how it looks and i'll just give another look at the shoes pick up both of them side by side so this is the bottom um of the shoe and I just love the bottom of Air Force Ones. Like, I don't know. It's always just been like the imprint of the shoe. I just really like it. This is a side shot of it, just with the Nike swoosh. We'll get a shot of the toe box, the laces, all of those things, and also the back of the shoe. Chance Nike Air on the back. And yeah, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next Friday. Thank you for watching.